So a really quick video, I'll try and keep this one short. What I did was uh, hooked up the Hammett Up Up Converter. Uh, it's just hooked to the MCX adapter, uh, fed by the USB power from this side of the laptop. I brought it outside. Uh, it's not in an enclosure, but uh, pretty far other than the laptop from any interference. I took the PAL connector adapter and uh, just alligator clipped it. Resuming, uh, just alligator clipped it to uh, to there, ran it across. It's hooked to the Sanjian. Actually, right now oh, we're not making contact with the other connection, and it's just hooked to the Sanjian long wire. So, really quick, just uh, trying to give this a try. So basically, the Hammett up up converter allows us into the HF. So, um, what you do is you put the offset, the shift into SDR sharp and uh, that's about it. Select the switch position and give it a go. Um, right now I'm still off by uh, a little bit in frequency because of uh, the, con the shift configuration. I just haven't got around to resetting it. The, uh, the problem with it shifting around seems to have stopped. It seems to be static and I'm only off by a very very small amount. So I'll, I'll tune to the national clock frequencies and, and and set it properly here, maybe yet tonight, but uh, pick that back up and uh, we'll just try zooming around the band here and see what we get. Coming in pretty good, not bad, we're just long wire. It's a good strong signal. Try one of these other little weaker ones. No problem. No problem. Working out pretty good. We'll uh, see if we can zoom back out. Again, uh, I'll try and get some screen share software hooked up. But let's try around down near the amateur area and see what we can see. So we got all kinds of. Let's try tuning around in here. Sounds good. All kinds of reception, no problem. I haven't even fiddled with the uh, the gain. I can actually probably back that down just a little bit. Don't want it to overload. Well, I'm praying and praise by the so basically, this is just messing around the band. We can uh, turn this mark peaks off because it gets a little busy down here. These are. So anyway, uh, I won't waste a lot of time on it, but uh, basically here we are into the HF area of things. This is uh, around the around here is the uh, the 40 meter band, so I think we should be able to tune these no problem if we can get rid of the. Uh, Annoying digital carryover. I am on upper sideband, so I'm not sure why I'm picking up both here. <laughs> that one's a uh, yappy one. <laughs> that one I don't think should be on upper sideband anymore. It doesn't look like an upper side band transmission. Straight up AM. There we go. So we want to listen to some gospel. Maybe some gospel music. Anyway, I am muted at that. Anyway, let's see uh, the Hammond Up Up converter. Working pretty good. Can't really complain. I'm gonna mess around, get the antenna hooked up a little bit better, and uh, see what I can do here. But uh, so far, so good for 50 bucks. Got yourself a decent shortwave rig. Uh, no problems. Uh, very good so far. So here's a little bit more with the uh, the time frequency tuned in at uh, 15 meg. What I found, 
and I made another mistake. Um, what I found is the shift I needed for this setup is a 124 mag 990 052. And I can come in bang on at, uh, at 15 mag. So that works a little bit better. Uh, we'll see where this lands. Um, unfortunately, the mistake I made is the frequency correction I dialed back to zero. So now I'm going to have two different offsets. One with the Hammond up, con up converter and one without. But for now, this is working pretty good. So should be able to tune this down around the seven area here and get this to work a lot better than what it did before. So. Three point two one five megahertz. They're saying. Huh. Well, now I gotta do a bit more work to figure out what's going on there. Possibly. Let's tune down around the seven range and see. Well, it's clearly quite alive. Let's try tuning one here. No, nope, that's still. Well, apparently there was nothing wrong. Uh, just my tuning capability here running the camera. That was a bit of an off night. Anyway, um, we're into the data area here. Uh, a mixture of all kinds of CW, etc. So if we go back to upper side band and start tuning it a bit at a time. Actually, a little bit less than that. There we go. Now we're getting into some fine tuning. So, it's working pretty good. No problems. And then if we move outside to one of these larger hits, go back to AM. Getting all kinds of great hits. No problem. Yeah. Working like a champ. So, we have it up, up converter. Doing a great job. No complaints. Waterfall is just packed. Um, in case you've noticed, uh, I have modified the waterfall slightly so that I have a, a little bit more definition to the channels, but uh, that's a good it, so, um, yeah, works great, no complaints, I'm going to surf around and give this thing a bit of a go, but uh, yeah, expanded it to short wave, no problem, let's see how it goes. So let's just take a quick, one last spin through, uh, just see what we can see, we'll just uh, tune up in one mag increments here, and just see what we can click on. All kinds of frequencies to listen to. This is zoomed right out. So obviously, there's not much to see. We uh, want to zoom in a little tighter, we can see a lot more. Just crank this up a little bit. And the waterfall will become a little bit more apparent. No problem. God preaching. 
but that's normal on short wave. Time. Take it up there, on me. Get it up there. This area should be probably not of much interest. As you can see, pretty boring just tuning around the band, but uh, you get the idea that there's more than tons to listen to. It's working extremely well. No problem. And if I uh, crank the audio level a bit. No problem copying the audio from it. You can take the time to tune it a little better, especially if you zoom in. So, yeah, I won't waste any more time with this. I'm sure it's boring to watch, but uh, you get the idea. The uh, the Hammond up up converter through the uh, USB software-defined radio. Cheap combination. Amazing what you can do. Pushing it into shortwave and uh, beyond now. So I'll keep going and see how far I can push this. Last shots. Um, I could spend all night tuning around the band here, but we're up to... Uh, it'll take me many minutes to get up this high in the band, but... Uh, Getting some amateur traffic on upper side band here on the 18 meg range. Well, I'm probably not. <laughs> it's the other side of the, the two series talking now, so. Yeah, no, there you go. Get the LS, uh, anything in Minnesota. What I got here is the Henry 3 Cape of the Mio. And I uh, had this amp when I was running a big contest station back in the day. I don't want to get into that right now, but, uh, you know, it's, um, you know, it's, it, it was, uh, anyway, amazing what you can do with this thing. Um, I haven't even explored half of its capability yet, but, uh, it's very impressive. Thanks for watching.